okay and in this video then we're going to come back for a third reason uh, that will move exchange rates and what this is relative inflation okay so if you compare the the inflation in, of prices in that country compared to the inflation prices of your country um, then this is going to make a difference where people want to go so if a country has oops if a country has relatively high inflation if you have relatively high inflation then the purchasing power of that currency is is eroding faster right then the purchasing power of the currency is eroding right it's 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 being weakened the, the the purchasing power so and it's and it's happening faster in one country than it is in the other country right so so say in the u.s um uh the the inflation is low and in this other country the inflation is high well that means if you hold the units if you hold your money in that other country your purchasing power is going down quick more quickly and if you hold it in the u.s it's not okay this is the idea so of course people are not going to want to hold a currency that's losing value quickly okay so the people won't uh want to, at least they want to hold less of it to hold the currency right if it's if it's uh if it's purchasing power is eroded then less people will want to hold it so let, let's give an uh, an example of this so we're going to talk about we'll talk about the argentine so we got the argentine peso we have uh, so this is the number of us dollars per peso per argentine peso this is not the mexican peso uh, peso and then um, this is the quantity of argentine that's what we got and we can just start in some kind of equilibrium notice i'm not really i'm not even going to label the the amount here because uh, off the top of my head i don't know what the exchange rate is and it's not really that important uh, we just need to know which direction it's moving in to show this example okay so we got people who want to buy argentine pesos with dollars and people want to sell them to get dollars right this is what's this is what's um what's happening well no sorry yes we got the demand is the buyers and then this the sell sellers is the supply okay so what's going to happen so let's suppose uh argentina is hit by high argentina is hit by high uh hit by high inflation argentina gets hit by high inflation so think about what's going to happen now to the two sides well for demand people they don't want to no one wants to people don't want to buy argentine pesos you're like you're thinking well this is um like this currency is losing value why do i want to go jump into it right so they want to, they don't want they don't want to go buy so they don't want in they don't want to they don't want to get them it's for short so there's the demand's going down right they don't want it and then there's for sure going to be an up in supply the people want to get rid of them so they want to get rid of them the people who have them want to change to dollars so they want to change to dollars so they're headed this way okay and so we end up in a new equilibrium we were up here at a and we end up down here at b uh, the exact quantity is not all that important for, uh, at least for this simple example the real one matters is the price so we can see before they were getting more us dollars and now they're getting right before they're getting more us dollars i don't know how much and now they're, they're getting less okay so we can tell clearly the uh, the origin and peso has weakened against the dollar. You're going to get less dollars per one. Okay. So we can tell we're going to get. We know we can see here we're getting less U.S. dollar per one. Okay. We get the idea. Uh, so yeah, this is another reason. So sometimes when you have big devaluations of cur of currencies, uh, it could be as we mentioned the first one. It could be about speculation. Um, it could be about different rates of return, although those ones tend to be humongous shifts unless it's uh, you know, a really sudden change. Um, but it also could be relative inflation. So high, often the really big shifts that you see that happen suddenly are either speculation about the future or um, occasionally they're about countries with really high inflation rates will have big sudden movements. Uh, all right. 